Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we wanted to take a few minutes and explain a six pole adapter. We've got a couple options here we wanted to show you. This is going to convert a standard seven pole plug and in this case it's going to work for a six pole and a four flat. So we have two additional options on trailers that we can connect. The biggest problem that you're going to run into with a six pole round connector is knowing what wiring code your trailer is set up as. With a six pin connector, we have the option of the center pin being a 12 volt power lead, or we have the option of it being a brake lead. So when you hit your brake controller, it sends brakes back to your trailer. Now, if we have it wrong one way, if we have it set on our brake lead, it's not doing a whole lot of damage for us. There aren't any real concerns with it. We're just not gonna have 12 volt power back to our trailer. If we do it the opposite way, however, we can run into some pretty big issues. If that center lead is hot or it has 12 volt power and your trailer is wired for that to have brakes, well, your brakes are going to lock up and you're not going anywhere. So we have two different varieties here. We have one that's going to have the brake lead as the center pin. So if your trailer is coded that way, you want that part number. The other, that center pin is going to be coded for 12 volt. So that's going to be something that you're going to definitely want to keep in mind and get the right plug for your application. Or I can give you a better solution a little bit later, but let's talk about this in case you do know your coding and you want just a single adapter to do the job for you. Overall, it's a really well-built adapter. It feels nice and solid. There's no movement, there's no play in it. You can see we've got a tab right up here on top that's gonna catch that door. That's gonna prevent us from being able to pull it out four pole right there. So that's going to give us our ground. It's going to give us our trailer running lights. It's going to give us our left turn and brake and our right turn and brake. That's going to be nice for the smaller utility trailers that have just a standard four pole plug on them. Or that can also be used to power a cargo carrier. Or maybe you've got a hitch cover that you want lit as you head down the road. It's going to take care of that for you. And then we've got our six pole there. So that's going to take care of all those signals, plus we're adding power and generally the brake circuit to come through. Now something I like about this plug versus some of the other ones is that the doors are really nice and solid. They come down and hold really well. Your four pole is going to have that rubber cap on it, so we're going to be able to keep this out of the elements. Really shouldn't have to worry about rust and corrosion, especially if you use a little bit of dielectric grease. You'll place, these on, place this on each of the contacts. That's going to prevent moisture and dirt from building up in there, which leads to corrosion. So on your trailer plugs that are going in here and the plug as you put it in your seven pole, it's a great idea to use that. As far as the installation process goes, just like any seven pole, we're going to put it in until that tab is behind the tab on the door. Allow that to come back. It's going to hold it in place. And then whether you've got a six or a four pole trailer, we can very easily, if I can get it lined up right, plug that in, and that'll give us all the power we need, make sure everything works for us. Now, customers give these adapters really good reviews. No issues with them working properly, no issues with them doing what they want them to do. I think if you knew your trailer in code, and if you were never planning on switching to a different trailer in code, or never planning on switching trailers, you could get the direct, either center pin electric brakes, center pin 12 volt, and it's gonna work out properly for you. Another question customers always ask us is, that the one that you would buy? Would you own that one or is there a better option out there? And in this case, I would not buy either one of these. I think that uh, you're kind of limiting yourself a little bit. It's a six and a four pole. We've got something else from Hopkins, HM47570. Now this, I think, takes the best of both worlds here, plus goes up a notch. So we've got completely covered springs here that protects them from the elements. So all right, we know our door is going to work out really well. Gaskets inside are going to keep moisture from getting in. And you'll notice we've got a five flat connector here now. So this can be used as a four flat converter or adapter, a five flat adapter, which with what we talked about the four pole, you're going to add a reverse signal to that. That can be used for uh, surge style couplers for the electric lockout, or it can be used to run reverse lights on your trailer if you like a little illumination when trying to back up. And it's gonna have the six pole plug. That's gonna take care of any six pole round regardless of the way it's coded. 
And that happens with this little tab right here. This, I think, is really important if you're dealing with several different types of six pole or if you just want to be sure you've completely covered your bases. So we've got four pole, five pole. We've got six pole round. You can see here it says electric brake on it. That means our electric brake is going to be that center pin. But if we just take that out and rotate it, and place that back in, now we've got 12 volt auxiliary. So that completely negates you having to pick which one you have. It's also going to save you some trouble if you didn't figure it out correctly. We send you the wrong one, then we'll have to swap them out. So as you can see, this would be my pick. While these get great reviews and customers are really happy with those, this is right in the same ballpark as far as what you're going to spend on it. It adds a five flat and that adjustability. So if I had to pick one, that'd be my guy.